What is up guys? My name is Carmela and this is the Fempreneur Life channel here on YouTube where I'm talking about getting my life together via budgeting as well as starting my own business. Um, if you are new here, welcome for the very first time. And if you're a returning subscriber, you already know. What's up? How are you? Um, hope everything is great everyone's way, whether you're a returning subscriber or not. This is gonna be a cash stuffing envelope video. As you can see, I've got my envelopes out here. Not all of them will be getting stuffed, but um, more, <laughs> more than the last couple videos, I think. Uh, I got my cash out of the bank. Um, I did quarantine my actual money. Um, I actually went to the bank like two days ago, and I think the, uh, I don't wanna say incubation time, but the time that it lasts on paper, the time that the virus lasts on paper is up to 24 hours, I saw, and I let it sit for two days. So it should be totally safe. However, I'm still not gonna touch my face, and I'm still gonna wash my hands when it's done because, you know, you just can never be too careful. Um, like I said in my budget video, I am asthmatic, so I do have to be a little bit more careful than maybe some other people. But you know, it is what it is. It comes with the territory. So yeah, if you haven't seen the budget uh, for this cash stuffing, I will have it linked. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it because I can always talk to you guys while I'm stuffing, obviously. So the first thing I'm going to do, oh Lord, so the first thing I'm gonna do is put my envelopes to the side over here, I guess, to be stuffed. And then I'm going to lay my money out. All right, so while I'm setting my money up, as usual, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And after you do that, make sure you hit the notification bell as well because, um, you know, sometimes you might not know if I posted a video and Subscriber Squad is, Pretty deep over here. I don't know if you know that. If this is your first time watching, probably not, but subscriber gang is pretty deep over here. I really appreciate it. I um, I look at my analytics and um, more and more subscribers are coming back and watching the videos or watching my new videos. So that's always great to know that you guys actually enjoy the content and you actually come back because I know I'm, I personally have, I'm guilty of it. Um, I will subscribe to someone and then not ever really watch their videos ever again. Um, and I don't really know why. Sometimes like maybe they have one or two videos that are interesting and then after that it's just they just kind of like flop. I don't know. But yeah, I got my money laid out. I do need some ones. I guess I'll go ahead and pull them out now. Uh, so, okay, true story. I found my remainder envelope in my car and it's got money in it. <laughs> so I think I put it in there because I was supposed to be taking it to the bank um, to deposit, but it's got all these ones in it. So that just lets you know how in shambles my life is. I lost money and I didn't even realize, but I'm going to take out, I'm going to take out like $3 because I'm going to need it. And yeah, I'll just put that over there because I didn't get any ones from the bank because normally when I get ones for my cash stuffing, they are always left over and it's a little bit more painful to me to break the larger bills. That's why I got this one um, here for my fun envelope because it's a little bit harder to swallow, like passing somebody that 50. You know, like, oh, okay, here you go. So actually fun is right here on top. So I'll go ahead and start with that one. Um, there's nothing in here as usual, per use. Um, <laughs> so I actually budgeted for fun. I put 60. So I, I'm gonna take a 50 and a 10 and put that in there. To this day, this is still one of my most absolute favorite envelopes. So, yeah, there's 60 in there. I'll put that where you guys can't see it, apparently. Uh, what else do I have? Car maintenance. Also one of my favorite envelopes, not only visually, but practically, because it's been very helpful to me in my life. I will be putting $30 towards that. And this one actually does have some money in it. So I've got 30 in here already and adding another 30. So that'll make it 60 because I do have to refill my car maintenance envelope. Um, I talked about that in one of my previous budgets where basically it came through in the clutch and I had enough money saved up to where I basically only paid like $22 to uh, get car repairs. So that was lit. <laughs> Cash envelopes work. Um... 
for my phone bill, I did budget some money for it. Um, but the bill already came out, so I'm not actually going to stuff this envelope, but this is that. And these are all homemade. If this is your first time watching, I homemade all of these envelopes. I do have a video on that as well. Um, I'll put a link there. And so my food envelope has some money in it. It's got $6 and some change. I'm going to save this 50 cents though, because I'm going to need it later. So then I don't need, we'll talk about it later. Anyways, but the thing about um, food is I actually stopped on my way back from the bank and just did one big grocery shop. So I wouldn't have to keep going back out to, you know, get eggs or, you know, get little random things. Cause that's what I normally do to try and cut down on my food waste. And normally I'll think of like, okay, this is what I want to eat for the next couple of days. So I'll go to the store and get enough food just for the next couple of days. Cause when I wasn't doing that, I was wasting like mostly vegetables and like produce and stuff. But with everything that's going on and being in the high risk category, um, I'm not trying to make any extra trips to the store if I don't have to, you know what I'm saying? So I did um, do a bulk shop um, on my way back from the bank. So I won't be stuffing that envelope. Um, I did go over budget on that by like $10, I think, because I got some ground beef. I'm, I've been on like a ground beef cake lately. Um, and they didn't really have any good sales. But like I said, I wanted to just get that one shop out of the way. I didn't want to drive to a whole bunch of stores. So that's kind of hurting her pockets a little bit. I budgeted $70 and I ended up spending $81 and some change, um, which isn't too, too bad. And like I said, I got more than enough food um, to last me. So you know, it is what it is. For my dogs, for my pups, got an envelope for them. And I'm actually going to need to budget some more money probably because I need to get them some flea collars. Somehow there's crumbs in there. I don't know how that happens. I don't know what's going on in my life. But I have $11.51 and I'm putting, I'll put two more fives in here. I budgeted 10 so now I have $21 and I'm going to put the change to the side to put in my little change box. Next is my clothing envelope. I do have money in here. Got 20, we'll do this, 30, 35, 40. And I'm adding another 20. All right, so there's that. For gas money, I actually have some money still in here because I am not going to work and the gym is closed, so I'm pretty much not going anywhere. So I do have $20 in here and I budgeted 20 more dollars just in case, I don't know. Cause I literally have half a tank of gas right now and I'm not going back to work until the 27th and I don't even wanna go then, but I don't wanna use all my vacation. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. Just like a little bit of gas money. The crazy thing is the time off has actually been extremely helpful um, when it comes to starting my business, whatprettylashes.com, where I'm selling my mink and faux mink lashes. Um, I have links down below for the Instagram and for the website. I'm not sure exactly when this video is going up. The shop might be open. I did originally want to open my store on the 15th, but I completely underestimated all the work that went into setting up an actual shop. Um, I am using Shopify and as, especially um, as far as like writing the descriptions of the items, um, editing the photos, editing the layout and everything. I've got it almost done. So I'm going to take the weekend to do that. I, I'm probably going to take today off. Today's Friday. I'm probably going to take today off <laughs> from looking at it because at this point I'm just like, I don't even want to look at it anymore. Like I'm kind of over it, but it's almost done on Monday, April the 20th, 420. Um, <laughs> uh, the store will be open rain or shine no matter what and then if anything needs to get changed I can always change it after that so whatprettylashes.com opening April 20th 420 um, check it out if you're just curious or if you are interested in buying some lashes so yeah anyways um, for fitness I am adding 
$20 to the cash envelope because working out at home requires uh, a little bit more equipment than I'm used to. Or maybe it doesn't require, but from the looks of it, it might be a little while before I get to the gym. So I am stuffing it with $20. I think normally I do like 10 or 15 or something like that. So I'm putting that in there, which had nothing in it. I'm actually trying to hurry up so I can head out there and get my workout in right now. But I have to finish this for you guys. Well, it's for both of us. But I, I, I got fussed out last time I said that I wasn't cash stuffing. So <laughs> it's for both of us. So for beauty, I have some money in here. I got 30 bucks in here. Hmm, who'd have thunk? Well, actually, it's probably only like 10 because I did just buy some face wash. Oh my God. I did just buy some face wash. So this is actually gone. That has to go back into the bank. Well, I guess I'll just leave it here. And then I'll leave that 20 there. And then we'll just do that. So now it just has 30 in it. But I did have to buy... Um, so I'm washing my face and I need to replace this one or fix it. Because these these were the first envelopes I ever made. So I cut the edges a little bit too thin. Um, so they kind of breaking apart a little bit, but that's that's my bad. That was a learning experience. Okay, so for home, I'm actually gonna put 20 bucks in here. And and I'll be needing some Tide and stuff soon. So I'll have 20, 30, 35, 37. That's actually not bad. I can get I can get a lot with that with some coupons. Heck yeah. Hashtag coupon life. So I realized I actually took $20 in cash out for my savings because I listed it under my sinking funds slash cash envelopes. So I accidentally took this 20 out, but I did deposit it into my savings account. And so I'm just gonna put this over to the side. That way it can get deposited back into my regular bank account. I will be taking $40 out from Mi Madre for rent. And I'm just gonna, and I just put that to the side because I'm just gonna give that directly to her. I'm actually not paying my car insurance right now. My policy is paid in full, so I won't owe anything until I find out whatever it's going to be next month. Um, but I do want to set a little bit of money aside for it so I can kind of start like pre-planning um, to pay for that. So I don't have an envelope for it yet, but I don't, and honestly, I don't know if I'm going to make one because I'm not going to do this all the time. Uh, otherwise, I would just pay the money directly towards my policy, but I can't do that because it's paid in full. It literally won't let me make a payment. So I'm just going to take the $30 out and just kind of set it to the side. And that way I know I have that saved up and ready for when my policy does renew. All right. To the medical fund, I'm going to add 20 bucks because I recently got some blue light glasses um, since I've been on the computer a lot and editing the video, editing my videos and editing photos and things like that. Um, the blue light has been freaking killing me. So um, I got some blue light glasses on Amazon. They are lit. They are game changing, life changing, like everything changing. They're amazing if you're on the computer all day. I do need to get glasses. So hopefully when all this is over, I can um, actually go and get them because I think all eye doctors are closed right now. Plus I just, I, even if they were open, I wouldn't really feel comfortable going because Ew, you never know. So I'm gonna, I put some more money in here. I don't know how much glasses cost. So I'm just gonna start throwing a little bit of money in here. Just, you know, just a little sprinkle. Um, For when I am able to go, I do wanna get glasses and I do wanna get them with the blue light lens on there because, oh my God, that is, <laughs> like when I say that is game changing. Okay, baby. And if you didn't watch my budget video, I did set up a new sinking fund um, to pay for my car registration and taxes when they're due in August. So I did the math on that. And for the registration, no, for the taxes at least, taxes and registration, um, that would be $12.50 out of each check to save up enough money by the first of August, basically. Um, I probably will add the $30 or spread the $30 for the inspection out um, through those checks as well, but I just haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna take 10 and then it's 12.50 for that. And I'm just gonna put this to the side as well. That way I know I'll have it. Um, since it's not until August, I'll probably make an envelope for this, but I don't know how I'll get the paper because I'm not going to Michael's just to get a sheet of paper. And I'm, I don't know about ordering it off of Amazon. So I don't know, we'll see about that. But there is that. So I actually didn't need this $1 bill. And then I have 
twenty dollars. I got this extra twenty bucks here. It's gonna go back into the bank, or maybe I'll put it in my savings. I don't know. Comment down below what I should do with this extra twenty bucks, and then that's what I'll do. So these are my envelopes, nice and stuffed. Maybe I'll put that twenty dollars in travel. I don't know. Like, who knows? Let me know in the comments um, what you think I should do with it. But yeah, that's gonna be pretty much that. <laughs> um, short and sweet or short-ish and sweet. Um, I hope everyone's being safe out there. Um, thank you so much for watching and subscribing because I know that's exactly what you did if you aren't subscribed already. Be safe, everyone. Wash your hands and don't try everything you see on TikTok. <laughs> Bye, guys.